Well, I was watching one of your videos, and a guy called in and was looking to buy an eight-unit property. And you said not to do it, and you said that you don't consider anything under 32 units. Yeah. How does a person, an average investor, afford something that's 32 units? I mean, we're talking about millions of dollars. 32 minimum. units times 100,000, that's probably going to be the average price you pay. Maybe 80,000, 32 times 80 is uh, 2.4 million. You're going to need 600 yeah. grand. You need, to find, you need to go figure out 600 grand and not do the $6,000 deal. Okay, the six the six thousand dollars down is not going to be a workable deal. So how does a person do it? How do you make money in real estate? That's the real question. Not how to get started. How do you guarantee to make money? Don't go too small. The one unit, two unit, four unit, eight unit, they're going to go back to the banks. It's just when. Or they're just gonna be such a pain in the ass that you're gonna be like, I, I wish we didn't even own this. Right. And, and so my, my encouragement to people, if you're going to do one or two units, get in and flip. Get your money and build your nest egg like that. There's nothing wrong with using the ones, twos, and fours to get in, wholesale the deal, hold the contract, pick up a little dough, sell it to the doctor, the chiropractor, the amateur. They're, they're not going to keep it. And if they keep it, they're going to hate it. Or, or find a guy like me that's doing big deals and ride along with it. There's nothing wrong with riding on the coattails. I wish I would have lent Jeff Bezos a million dollars. Right. And ridden on his coattails. There's no shame in finding a sure thing and saying, hey, I'm gonna ride. Warren Buffett's been riding on Coca-Cola, American Express, uh, like uh, Apple, he's like, hey, I'm just going to buy 10% of the company. The, the problem with most, we can't, you, everyday people can't buy big enough positions in companies to really know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, I've been riding Jeff Bezos and Google's co coattails now for years. You yeah. know, I, I saw early on how strong of a company these two were, and I just bought in big positions and I just kept them. Yeah, good for you. Good and, for uh, you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a lot of people... You know, they look at stocks, you know, and, you know, this is a similarity between me and you. They say, well, what's the point of having these stocks if you're not making any money from them? And it's like, well, to grow your wealth. It's not about chipping off money to yourself. It's about growing your overall wealth. Because once you get to a financial level where you're worth, whether it's savings, stocks, real estate, whatever it is, once you have a, a net worth that's substantial, you will stop making short-term decisions in your life. You will start making long-term decisions in your life. And the most successful people have the longest sort of window of, of time that they're aiming at. Really, really wealthy people are looking at what happens to them after they're dead. Yeah. You know, mi middle-class people are looking at next year. Poor people are trying to get to next week. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And the totally. longer you wait, the longer you're looking at down the line, the more strategic, you know, decisions you're going to make and you're going to always do better. Totally. You know what I mean? Totally agree.